it guys, my name is Sean T. Bear I'm with DestinyPowerSports.com. I couldn't be more excited to be here with you guys to review the RXF 50 Mini. I truly believe this is one of the better 50cc dirt bikes available on the market today for the little guys. We're going to help you make a more educated decision on your purchase, get you all the stats, give you our experience. We're going to review some raw footage for the summer. We've personally owned one of these for about three months now and uh, our, our son just loves it. So. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. If it does, like, subscribe. If it doesn't, move on to the next. All's good. Let's dive into it. First off, let's talk about this little rider. His name's Case. Just turned five. He's riding the RXF50. He's been on it for a few months now. Uh, he's a rider uh, throughout this video. Just give you an idea of uh, skill set, age, size. Uh, he's doing fantastic. This bike really helped him uh, learn how to jump and overall just improved his uh, riding ability. Uh, gained a lot of confidence throughout the summer. A lot more confident to tackle obstacles and new riding areas. Uh, this bike's really provided uh, like uh, freedom to him, like autonomy. Uh, the electric start, the automatic, a uh, transmission and kickstand and just all those little features combined uh, I think make it a lot uh, more confidence inspiring for kids. and. Um, for them to be able to start and, and take off on their own is, uh, is a real big, uh, big positive. The styling on this bike is just awesome, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, right from you know the mini fat bars down to um, the gripper seat and the stainless exhaust, uh, the disc brakes, the swing arm, the billet parts on the suspension. You know the the collars and the suspension are billet uh, anodized aluminum. Um, I just think they did a really good job laying out the graphics, the plastics, everything works together really well. There's a, uh, a section, a number plate on the front and side, so there's a section there to put race numbers. Um, I'd say the styling is definitely uh, cut above the rest. Let's talk about where this bike fits in to the current 50cc dirt bike lineup. I've personally owned two Yamahas, a TTR50, PW50, We've had a Honda XR50, um, and we currently have a KTM50 Mini. There's also the Cobra race bikes. Now, every dad wants the KTM50 race bike, but on all reality, that's probably not a good choice for first timers. Uh, the trail bikes are a far better means for children to learn, um, and this bike is kind of a blend of both. Uh, throughout this video, I'm purely looking at the child's perspective of ease of use and the father's perspective for maintenance. Um, having an outdated bike last 40 years or being able to ride it as a pit bike when you're older has nothing to do with your child's ability to learn or how to ride. So I'm going to rate the bikes we just spoke about uh, based on um, you know, the child rider's uh, perspective. So I'll rate them from my least favorite to favorite. I'd have to say that the PW50 was my least favorite. Uh, the Kickstarter uh, wouldn't always grab. The automatic clutch has a hard time with hills, it doesn't like mud, it's over geared. Great bike, bit outdated, suspension's not the best, you gotta do a pile of work to them if you really want them to, you know, be top notch. Um, we had one, we switched to an electric uh, rather quickly. Uh, the next bike I'd say would be the Honda 50, the good old Honda, everybody loves them. They're great bikes, um, they're big bikes, they're heavy, they are kickstart only, and um, we had one for a short period of time until we switched to a TTR50. Uh, the only reason the TTR50, I believe, is above the Honda is just because of the electric start. Uh, the electric start was uh, was very nice for Case to use. He was able to start and stop his bike uh, by himself, which made riding for him better, and it made riding for me better as well, because I'm not constantly kicking over a bike. Um, I'd have to say that the RXF is between the TTR50 and the KTM50. Obviously the KTM 50 is uh, leagues ahead of all these trail bikes in suspension and capability, uh, but also price. The RXF 50 fits in well between the TTR 50 and the KTM 50. Um, the RXF is 7 inches narrower, uh, it's about 38 pounds lighter, it's got a shorter wheelbase, uh, better suspension, it's fast, it's got a lot more power. I find it easy to maintain, uh, it does well during wipeouts. Uh, you know, the way the brake levers are built and um, there's a lot of protection on the bike itself so it, it does fairly well. 
I prefer it from a father's perspective over uh, all the other bikes, actually even the KTM, uh, just due to the pure amount of seat time that Case can get on this, uh, this RXF50. Uh, he uses this thing and puts a pile of hours on it. Probably my favorite feature about this bike would have to be the motor. The motor's uh, purpose-built for this bike. It's not pulled out of a weed whacker or a lawnmower. It, uh, it, it's an air-cooled four-stroke. It's very compact in size. It, uh, it has a wet clutch in it, which is really important. Uh, and it also has, it's a multi-disc clutch, so it's not clutch shoes, like some of the smaller uh, motors or cheaper motors would be. Uh, multi-disc is definitely the way to go. Uh, the clutch feel seems uh, very consistent on it. I haven't had to adjust anything and it, uh, it's, it seems to have a much better feel when they're engaging on a hill or uh, you know using some of the torque of the motor. Um, the motor is very torquey. It revs really quickly. I find uh, you know the Hondas and the Yamahas they have a lot of rotating mass in the big clutches and, and drivetrain so it takes a while for them to rev. Um, in return they have a lot of uh, torque and continue to roll very well but I definitely prefer the the Revy uh, style engine that this has and I, I think Case does too he likes to crank on the throttle lots um, and the bike just sounds fantastic. Okay, so the second best feature on this bike, in my opinion, would be the suspension. Um, the suspension is far better than any of the other offerings, aside from the Cobra and KTM race bikes. Uh, Apollo designed this suspension for children. It uh, It's properly sprung. It has correct cartridges in the forks that will work properly with a child's weight. Uh, it doesn't do well with a large adult rider on it, but that's okay. It's meant for children, so it actually works properly. It keeps the tires on the ground, keeps it in traction, and it uh, does very well jumping, in my opinion. The front forks are adjustable within the trees, so you can move the forks up and down. Um, there's some adjustment there. You can open the forks up and change the fluid, so you could put a, a softer or a thicker fluid in it to change the feel of the front forks. The rear shock's 190 millimeter long nitrogen charge shock. Uh, it does have a nice aluminum collar to adjust the spring tension, which is nice. Uh, so you're able, there's a little set screw there, you're able to adjust it and then lock it in with a set screw. I, I find the rear shock, uh, it just looks, it looks built well and it's nice that you can adjust it because all the other models I talked of, you can't adjust. Uh, there's seven inches of ground clearance. Uh, so it doesn't sound like a lot, but on a little bike, uh, it's pretty decent for sure. Let's talk about chassis and build quality. Uh, as for the chassis, nice tubular steel frame. Uh, frame is a bit shorter than the uh, TTR and KTMs. It's got a little bit less rake as well, so it does perform well at low speed for handling. Um, at high speed, it is a bit twitchy, so it's something to note. The TTR and the KTM um, both have a bit more rake. They both handle a bit better at high speed. As for placement of controls, um, the brakes, both brake levers are on the handlebars, so front and rear. Uh, the levers themselves are designed smaller and thinner. They're closer to the handlebars and they're sized accordingly for kids. So I really, really like that. The case can properly reach the brakes, which is super important. Um, some of the kids' bikes will have big adult sized levers and that just never made sense to me. Both brakes on the bike are disc brakes, uh, nice large rotors pads, um, brakes are definitely oversized and they're very nice. Apollo did a great job with the seat and fuel tank. Uh, so I find the seat is of a like more modern MX bike design um, from the rear fender to the filler neck on the gas tanks. Pretty much a nice straight line. Uh, much better than for example the TTR has a big you know hoop in the seat. Um, I like the fact that Case can move forwards and backwards so I'm able to teach him to ride on the tank and lean back through sand and mud and um, 
the gripper seat might look like a bit of a gimmick, but it actually does help with keeping them on the seat for sure, there's no doubt about it. I find the build quality on the bike really good. Um, overall, they did a great job. Items like the uh, you know child-sized levers, um, they're built very well. The suspension components are very nice. Um, the motor is built very well, in my opinion. Um, the, you know, just you can tell from the engine casings to the way it's assembled. It's nice and compact. Comes with a nice skid plate, a gear reducted starter. Everything fits where it should. Nothing looks out of place at all. This bike's equipped with 10-inch wheels, front and back. Rim spokes and hubs, fairly nice. Um, there is some work to do to uh, true up the rim during PDI, but that'll be taken care of by the dealers. Um, just make sure that you're uh, checking those spokes after break-in periods, and uh, make sure you YouTube how to tighten spokes if you plan to take it on yourself in the future. The rubber supplied with the bike uh, I find is very nice. The compound itself is nice and soft. There's good traction. Uh, there's big square blocks. They have a lot of space in between. I do find they're a better tire than some of the other trail bikes. When it comes to maintenance, you're going to want to make sure to change the oil on this bike quite often. Uh, with an automatic clutch, uh, you will get friction material that comes off the clutch and gets into the oil. So make sure you're changing out the oil. It's really going to help prolong the life of the bike. A couple other items I do is uh, make sure that I'm monitoring tire air pressure. Um, it's easy to just put the tire chuck on and puff up the tires, but you're going to want to make sure you run them at uh, a correct pressure. Um, personally, I run the rear one a little low for them. I just give them a bit more traction when we're off trail. The levers themselves, uh, I don't crank them down right tight. I like to leave them just loose enough that you can move them by hand up and down. Uh, that helps prevent levers from breaking when they tip over, for example, and where he just tipped his bike. Um, you can easily snap off a lever. The chain will come loose fairly quickly um, as you break in the bike. So you're going to want to make sure that the chain's adjusted correctly. There's a little guide on the actual chain guard that tells you what tension you need. Just know that when you compress the bike, it tightens up your chain. So you don't want to have a tight chain um, and you know be jumping the bike or having a lot of suspension action. So let's make sure it's adjusted properly. In the end, the most important feature of a 50cc dirt bike is that it instills confidence in the little riders, gets them out riding, and gets them learning quickly. These bikes list for $14.99 Canadian, which in my mind is fantastic value for what you get. So if you're looking for a 50cc dirt bike and you're looking at all the other offerings, you're looking at some of the other vintage bikes that have been out for 40 years, um, I'd definitely consider looking at one of these Apollo RXF bikes, uh, getting into all these new features. I think the little guys will really, uh, really appreciate it and you'll enjoy it as a father as well because being able to ride on epic days like this, hassle-free, when your kids want to ride because they're confident, they love the bike they're on, is just awesome. So make sure you get out there and ride.